All those years I was loving this... this imposter dog. Martin, wait, wait! That was my best, best friend story. You're missing the point. Oh, I got the point. The point is that all this time, this, this fake tippy was laughing at me behind my back. No wonder he lived to be 26. Christ. I feel like such a fool. You know what? I hope... I hope you get canceled. Maybe I ought to take that back. Martin! Deep inside, don't you ever feel you're wrong? Fuck you. Sure do. No. The truth. Hey. Hey. So, how, how was the show? Nothing special. Transvestite nuns. Right. Listen, I, I've been kind of an asshole. No, it's, it's okay, man. You do what you have to. Let's face it, we're two nice guys in really smarmy jobs. Yeah, yeah. I guess we are. When they talk about the dignity of labor, they mean guys like Eddie and me. Look, about the stuff I tried to put in the book. Yeah? I'm sorry if it sounded like I think you're just some... Womanizing sleaze. Eddie, I'm using your towel, okay? Maybe I ought to take that back. Oh. Hi. Jesus. Excuse me. I think you're standing on my bra. Thanks. Oh, keep talking. Just pretend I'm not here. What, what was that? The book. book. Just, just forget about it. No, man, I, I don't want you to get fired. No, 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 I'll, I'll be okay. No, come on. We'll figure out a way to do it. Really? What are friends for? We'll be brothers. You do books? Uh, yeah, I do books. I'm an editor. I'm writing a book. Oh, really? Yeah. It's called Starfucker. In the last four years, I've slept with 162 celebrities. 162? And is she happy? Yep. And in my book, I talk about my experience with each one. Eddie's going into the chapter about black talk show hosts. We're a whole chapter? Uh, tell me more. It's ginger, right? Right. Well, I evaluate each one numerically in several different categories. Performance, style, grooming. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what about my book? We'll get back to it. Uh, tell me, Ginger, this, this book isn't under option yet. Oh, it? no. I'm still typing. <laughs> Make it to Bob. Bob? Uh-huh. From Ginger. With love. Thanks. <laughs> Is this bloody marvelous? Sure, the woman sleeps with a battalion and gets a six-figure advance. Makes me proud to be alive today. Marty, you're a genius. So what else you got for me, huh? Actually, I have a meaning to talk to you about this. I have this sensitive novel about a teenage girl coming of age during World War II. Oh, yeah? She get raped by German stormtroopers, eh? She entertain the uh, boys back home in imaginative ways? <sighs> nope. It's just about her spiritual growth as a woman. 
Hi. Sounds an awful lot like literature to me. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Hmm. But the way I see it, for every one of these, I should get to do one that I want to do. And I think there are a lot of publishers around town who would, would agree with me. Oh, all right, all right. I just hope there aren't a lot of pages in it, huh? What? Will you look at this? A seven! <laughs> she gave me a seven! Mickey Rooney got a nine! Can you imagine, after all these years, 